Hi guys, Lindsay here with Storybook Family Farm. So today I want to share with you guys a little bit about what I perceive is going to be the, how things are going to be in the future. Um, so this is not one of those fear mongering type of videos. Uh, so don't click off thinking that it's something that it's not. Um, I specifically want to talk about growing food and how the climate is changing and what I've been noticing. So I think that what is happening this year is like this spring was a really, really, really wet spring for us here in Ohio. Um, it actually delayed our planting by several weeks. Um, and while this was all happening, I kept telling Tracy that I thought that we were going to enter into a significant drought. Um, and lo and behold, now we are in a drought period. Granted, it did rain last night. So those of you that are super local to me, you're going to be like, it just rained. I was digging in the garden yesterday prior to it raining. And I literally was digging out like big full shovels and stuff. Not like a little hand trowel, like an actual like jump on shovel. And the entire way down, it was like digging through concrete. Like it was bone dry. It was hard as can be and stuff. And that tells you, that gives you a good indication as to how well the soil is holding onto the nutrients, the moisture, and things of that nature. Um, if you're wondering why my hands are all blackened, I was picking berries, so it's I'm not dirty. It's just it's berry goo. Um, <laughs> I'm surprised my lips aren't purple too. But uh, you know when you pick berries, you gotta you gotta do one for the bucket, two for the mouth. So yeah, um, I don't eat breakfast whenever I'm gonna go berry picking. <laughs> Anyways, uh, so. What that tells me is with digging down to the soil and seeing that down that far, it is completely dry when, you know, our area here where we have the garden and all that stuff, it is naturally a very wet area. There's a lot of natural springs and seeps and things of that nature on our property. Seeing it being that dry when just a month ago, it was like extremely difficult to even get the garden planted because it was so stinking wet. That is a huge concern. Um, due to concerns of it being really a drought ridden year this year that's actually why i spent the time to dig out the pond the little mini pond that i hand dug and then also why we added in the other pond that the ducks and geese like to play in was because i was very much concerned of that things would shift that it would go from being extremely wet to being extremely hot and dry which is exactly what has happened so far with that being said, if you are someone that heats with wood, my other intuitive impression of what this weather is going to be like for the rest of this year is that it is going to be a very, very cold winter. That's just what I've been feeling. That's what I've been sensing. And last year, you know, everybody was saying, oh, it's going to be such a cold winter. It's going to be a bitter winter. There's going to be so much snow and all this stuff. I kept going, mm -mm, it's going to be mild. We'll have a cold snap, but it's going to be mild. It's going to be mild. Usually whenever I feel something really strongly, especially related to the weather, those things come to pass. Those things come to fruition. You know, granted, I've had a lot of dreams explaining things to me and seeing different things in the climate happening and stuff via dreams. And then they happen, um, you know, like really terrifying dreams when I was a little kid um, of like massive flooding different places. And then like a week or so later, that's when Katrina happened you know, different dreams of, you know, volcanic, volcanic eruptions. And then like a couple days to a week or so later, sometimes two weeks later, then I see it and stuff. So when I, when I feel things about what's going on around me, I kind of feel like it's important because there are a lot of people that are local to me that watch my channel. Um, and then people that are further away too, this might also be applicable to you. I don't know. I just know what's happening in this general vicinity. Um, you know, and sometimes big things. But yeah, it's been very concerning to me as to how the weather is changing um, just because it's for plants and things like that to, to adapt to the situation. It usually takes a couple years for them to adapt to a new pattern, a new weather pattern, a new shift, a new different dynamic. Um, you know, animals, they can adapt pretty quickly because, you know, just like humans, once it's hot for a long time, you just sort of get used to it after a week of, of the heat wave, then suddenly, you know, when it's not quite as hot, you're like, oh, this ain't bad. This is nice. This is really nice weather. So it's, you know, it's different for animals. It's different for humans and stuff. Whereas plants, they take a lot longer, especially to you add in the fact that the sun lately seems to be much more intense than normal. Um, it could just be that I'm changing. I don't know. Um, you know, I'm very, very, very pale. I have to wear 100 SPF when I'm out in the sun. And there's sometimes some days where it feels like even the 100 SPF is not doing anything. So take it for what it is, take it or leave it. You know, that's just my opinion. 
that's things that I have noticed. Um, so yeah, basically what we're doing is trying to constantly prepare our homestead for severe drought, then also for very cold winters. So this year we're actually gathering up significantly more firewood than what we did last year, simply because I feel in my bones it is going to be very, very cold and I really don't like being cold. So that's kind of what we're doing. Um, you know, if you guys have noticed any weird changes where you're at, I would love to hear in the comments section about like where you're at, what you've noticed, how this year has been different than previous years. Um, because for us, since we've, you know, been new to this particular homestead, it's been very challenging for us to really get a grasp of what is normal for this microclimate here compared to where we've lived at in the past. Um, so it's just, it's interesting. It's interesting what's happening in other places too. I find it very fascinating. So if you guys are enjoying this content, please give this video a thumbs up. Share it with your friends on social media. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to help us grow. We greatly appreciate it. All right. Thanks for watching. Have a good one, guys.